Hello everyone. Listen, I just want you to know that I got some email and this person wanted to implement the velocity banking method. However, the question was as follows. I want to pay, CJ, my rent. I want to pay my car note. I want to pay my other bills that don't take the credit card. I don't want to put my paycheck into my credit card and then I don't have money to pay my bills back. What do I do, CJ? What do I do? I know what you're going to do. You'd like to hear it? Here it goes. This is what you're going to do. You're going to get what is called convenience checks. Convenience checks are checks that you can get for the credit card. And they act just like, guess what, real checks. When you get a convenience check, there's going to be a fee. And some of them range, man, from like 1%. I've seen some as 3%, 5%. What kind of interest is that, though? That's right. It's simple interest, right? And remember, when you are in any amortized loan, you are getting raked over the coals with the interest that you're paying with these amortized loans. So say simple interest and amortized were in a fight. Simple interest would knock amortized out every time because it's calculated differently. So the simple interest is calculated differently than amortized. Amortized, man, it's meant for you to pay until you die. As a matter of fact, that word M-O-R-T, you can look this up, folks. <laughs> M-O-R-T, right? Don't you think of mortuary or morbid, okay? Oh, man, if we could spend all day on that. But what you want to do if the credit, if the bills don't allow the credit cards, write them a convenience check instead. If that is something <clears throat> that you don't want to do, then what you need is a bank L O C. CJ, what is a bank L O C? I'm glad you asked. A bank LOC is a bank line of credit. Now, it doesn't matter if you have to get a secured bank line of credit or an unsecured bank line of credit. When you get a line of credit, you can take that money out. It's just like a checking account. However, there are some interest that is charged on it after a certain time period, right? And that's the thing about credit cards and, and the thing about lines of credit. If you pay that off within the set amount, within the set time frame that's on that, you know, the disclosure form, whatever they call it, that tiny writing, the big print giveth, but the small print taketh away, right? And that small print, they actually show you, hey, you got 30 or you got 40, you got 45 days to pay this off before you get to start start charging that finance charge or interest charge, whatever the banks would like to call it, right? So, but, I mean, until then, it's zero, right? So you take out, you borrow a thousand, you put it back in five days, right? So there's nothing to worry about. Let's say you have a bank line of credit for $5,000, all right? Well, your bills are $4,000, right? Man, I hope not, because, you know, credit utilization and whatnot. We got to be concerned about that, don't we? I guess it depends on what your goal is. If you're looking to pay off something really fast, remember the credit utilization, you can get that knocked out, right? So what if your score goes down a little bit? So what? Scores go down, up, down, up, down, up. Don't be afraid of that, okay? It's an algorithm. It's a credit algorithm that they run. But the bank line of credit, Right? Say your expenses are $4,000 and each month, but you get paid $5,000, alright? There's $1,000, the spread, that stays within that line of credit and pays it off. 
You see what I'm saying? No? You don't? Watch this. Okay? You have $5,000 coming in. This is your income. Right? Okay? Are you with me so far? Awesome. Awesome. So, you're going to put that in because let's say, you know, you owe the 5000 on the credit card. Right? So, 5000 Now, you have 5000 right, on the credit card. So your balance is no longer 5000 because you paid it with your income. But now, you have expenses. So what do we have to do? We have to subtract minus 4000 So now we have what? 1000 See there, CJ? See, that's what I'm talking about. I only got $1 thousand dollars that I can spend now no no you don't you know why because you're gonna get paid again and this number is gonna go back up so plus but wait folks you don't have to put five thousand dollars in now you know why because the spread so watch this four thousand you put 4000 in. And now you're back at 5000 Isn't that beautiful? Let's go ahead and just take a look at that. So you can look at convenience checks or your bank line of credit. And since your income goes into the credit card at 5000 and your expenses are 4000 all right? Look, you're left at 1000 what in the world is going on, right? No, man. You're getting paid again. And guess what? You are going to put that back in your line of credit. And you're back at 5000 Now, whoever told you that credit cards are debt and to cut up your credit cards, to cut up your credit cards, to cut up your credit cards, doesn't know how to use the credit card correctly. This is how you use it. Credit cards are not bills. Watch this. Credit cards are leverage. I'm going to say it again. Credit cards are not bills. Credit cards are leverage. If you still have questions, all right? We definitely still have answers. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe to this video if you loved it, right? Tell your neighbors. Let people know, listen, this guy, is what this guy doing legal? Yes, it's legal, all right? And share this about infinity times so that we can get these people educated on how to utilize their finances. God bless. You have a great night.